flower friends it's nicole from flower hill farm and i'm at the nursery today if you guys are new here i am a flower farmer who just recently purchased this nursery in my hometown and we're starting the renovation process we've owned the property for about two months and so far we've renovated number one but there's still a lot of work to do it's cold it was 29 degrees this morning Burr. If we didn't have a frost before, everything's pretty much dead now. I'm waiting here for a guy from a company called Griffin. Now, Griffin is a company that supplies nurseries and greenhouses with everything from plants all the way to the plastics on the greenhouse and probably the greenhouses themselves. They have a selection of things for people like me who are growing things professionally and commercially. His name is Randy and Randy's gonna walk through the greenhouses with me just to take a look at what the setup I have here is. I'm hoping I can ask him questions like how many hanging baskets does he think that I can fit in each house? Uh, the, uh, I need new drip everywhere and I'm hoping that they can help me with some of those things. I also want him to help me measure the greenhouse plastic for number four because that's a different size than the other three. So I need to know what size plastic to buy for greenhouse number four. Hopefully he won't mind going on camera and I'll talk to him a little bit about the process that he goes through when he visits nurseries like this and how he can help me out. Okay, Randy's here, it's Randy from Griffin. Hey folks. So Randy, tell me quickly just like what you do. Uh, I'm a hard goods representative for Griffin Greenhouse Supplies. We supply uh, everything from the, the structure itself to everything that goes inside, plants, soil, Pots. Yeah, so we're gonna walk through today and kind of see um, what's in desperate need of happening Absolutely. right now and maybe some ideas for later down the road. Absolutely. Things that we can do. Absolutely. All right, let's you to tour around. Okay, so this is number one. This used to be in Watch Your Step because there are death traps everywhere. Yeah, so we ripped out, there were all of these mm -hmm. old lead pipes in here and concrete tables. We just yep. ripped everything out. We have to redo the floor. But what I was thinking is maybe these style tables. Yes. Yep. Um, so I'm going to need those in here. Sure. This is what they were. We ripped <laughs> three rows of this out. Yeah, yeah, the old kind of. Oh, gosh. Old style. Oh, so this is original to 1959 is when yeah. they built this. So it had nothing had been yeah, done to it since then. The but the drip in here, it's no longer functioning. And that looks spacing wise about, you know, if you're doing baskets. Um, it looks you can, okay. You can increase these by by staggering them and, and double hanging. Okay. You know what I mean? So you can put one right on the main line and then you can put an extender down to come over and you can have the next basket so they would sit staggered. So I wouldn't even need to put a second pipe in. I could just have no, a no, longer right. wire? The same pipe, yeah. Oh, okay, because I was yeah, nervous about these, putting a pipe these in. These look like they're maybe... 18, 18 yeah. Is that okay? Is that a good? Yeah. Oh, you figured in like a ten inch basket? I mean, I like most like of mine are ten. I yeah, might have so some twelve. Ten inch basket's gonna be, yeah. you know, once it's flush, it'll be this big. So that's about what you want. You know, on okay. This, the space in between. But what you would do is put one here, and you would just take and uh, halfway over, drop a another one. Okay. An extender, so yep. it hang below. The and it would basket. be like here. They've been hand watering everything in here. Yeah. Um, but I just don't think that this house is. Yeah. Yeah, and this is the only space I've been using for retail sales um, for my mom's. I had these tables filled with the mom's, but as far as I've been blocking out that back section because yeah, yeah. it's just not yeah, yeah, user friendly. But eventually, this will kind of be. So. Well, my mom and my aunt just stained all the tables. Yeah, um, yeah. They're looking nice. Yeah. So this will be next year's project. <laughs> and then number three, uh, I think, is ready to go. Okay. The only thing is I do want to do the front. We're redoing the front. Right. Um, and there are some holes on the sides that obviously I want to fill before yep. um, before winter because there's... Yeah, this is nice and that drip in here also needs to be replaced. Again, you basically can re replicate, get your measurements. Yeah. This stuff, the main line, comes pre-punched. You can buy it in 500 foot rolls where the punch is at, at different I lengths. Like yeah, and I don't, okay, I grabbed the wrong catalog. I'll tell you what it's available in. Um, or you can get it in 100 foot lengths of blank when you punch your own. Yeah, that's what we did uh, with the moms. Really, you gotta, what are we looking at? One, two, three, four. So these are about 50 foot runs. Yep. Not all the way. So that works out good in a 
far as in a measurement in sense a, yeah, yeah. Kind of dividing up a roll you know you're not wasting yeah and i wouldn't do <laughs> obviously the height's not here like it is in the first one so mm -hmm. i don't i wouldn't do a second layer it just helps me with how many pro how much product to order <laughs> right with how many right. baskets i can fit yeah. but i have no idea what size plastic this is i know it's different So you're 48, so generally stock size is a 100-foot roll. Uh-huh. So you could get one roll and double it. Yep. You know. That's what we did yep. um, with the other ones. Well, that's what they they did, I should say. It looks like it's about on top. Yeah, it does. Pretty close to the feet. Yeah. All right, we're just 20 to here. Okay. That's 40 right to the bottom, so you probably want to go with a 42 foot. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the other ones I think were 32. I had a 32 by 100 roll yeah. in the house. And again, I say most of these generally are four foot. Yeah, the ribs are four foot, so. Okay. Same mostly, that's standard, so. Yeah, yeah I guess. 42 by 100 will get you two slices. Or two okay. Perfect. Yeah, so a uh, I guess holes, yeah. in 2018, I was told they had a big ice storm on yeah. these trees and it, oh, the big well, chunks of ice. <laughs> of oh yeah. And apparently there are feral cats that you can well, see. They, they climb on it. Bank or maybe. I don't know, but they, they up, they're feral. I took Randy into the barn because I found two giant pieces of plastic or poly and I wanted to see if they were usable but he quickly determined that one well it just wasn't for the greenhouses but the other one that's okay this is not this is not regular poly plastic this is the heck like is that? side roll up uh, oh it's a, see it's, it's a it's not plastic woven yeah so I mean so it's, that's it's not heavy, for the use, yeah and it's near the bottom so depending on how you wanted to use it you know you may have a little extra there that that wouldn't even come into play but this gets used on a, like a roll-up side or you could okay so um, it's not it's not what i would put like that okay like, no okay yeah all right so this one is okay okay that was a bit of a whirlwind while randy from griffin was here he just left the former owners the ones who had not visited yet, the Dolans, they came over and brought me some old photos and I'm getting a little like teary because I'm just, it was so nice to finally, to see, I mean, I've met them before, but I haven't seen them in probably 20 years. They had the nursery for m well over 20 years and uh, many people still know this as Dolans. So they came in, I had reached out to their daughter and asked if she had any photos of her parents in the nursery that I'd like to pay homage to the history of the place. So I wanted some photos of them in the nursery. So they came and brought me a newspaper article. Um, this is them in the greenhouse way back. I think this article is from 1993. So I'm going to try and track down this original color photo from this newspaper. But the problem is this newspaper no longer exists. So I'm going to have to find who has access to this um, photo. It's got to be somewhere. If I can't, we'll do. We'll make do with what we have. They also were able to show me what this place looked like when they took it over. And boy, it's they kind of had the a similar path to overcome when it comes to building this. Oh my gosh, I'm reading this. Dolan's is open 8.30 to 8, seven days a week. 8.30 to 8, seven days a week. Wow. We believe it's the quality of the plants that keep bringing people back. I love this. I love this and I'm so happy that they stopped in. Because I had the rep from Griffin here, I couldn't really spend as much time with them as I wanted to, but I have so many things to ask them. They told me they started everything from seed. Everything. Except for geraniums, they started those from cuttings. But they brought everything in from seed. February 11th, he said February 11th, he started pansies. Anyway, I'm trying to take mental notes on all this stuff. And they showed me those old pictures and they really had a beautiful, beautiful business here. Couldn't, they had a stack of photos they brought me. I wish I could have um, taken all of them. <sighs> so they rebuilt, it says here, they rebuilt and raised the two original greenhouses and then um, added the two extras. So 
they are the ones that added the, the greenhouse number three and greenhouse number four. And just hearing some of their stories was so nice. And some of what used to be, um, they used to have a calla lily bed in the atrium. Oh, just love hearing all the history of this property. Okay, so some things that, let's go, let's go into greenhouse number one and talk about it. While Randy and I were in here, we did make some decisions, which it was kind of nice to have someone who's familiar with this to bounce ideas off of. I was unsure of how to set the tables up in here, but for maximum square footage, I think we figured it out. Of course, the clip explaining how the benches will be arranged has magically disappeared. But just to be really simple for you guys, there's gonna be a two foot bench along the side of each wall. And then in the middle, I'll have two wider sets of benches and there'll be three aisles and the aisles will be about three feet wide. There will also be two gaps in the actual rows themselves for people to cut across. Trying to make it as user friendly and comfortable for people as possible. As far as the drip irrigation in here, it does all need to be replaced. And he's thinking we could probably replace it for not too bad of a price, but we are going to add drips because we're going to use these hangers so that another layer of hanging baskets is gonna be able to be in here. So in this room, we're thinking about 250 hanging baskets. And this doesn't include the bench space. This is just in the air. The bench space is gonna be used for four inch pots and other annuals. In number two here, um, we're not gonna do drip irrigation in here just yet because this entire room needs to be renovated. So I don't wanna spend the money and the effort to put drip in here just to have to rip it out in the spring when we start construction on this house. This whole house needs to be lifted. The walls need to be rebuilt. You can see there's some separation hanging or happening and the, the walls kind of bowing out. That needs to be reinforced. So we're not gonna be putting the money into the drip irrigation in this house. But for number three, we definitely are. Okay, so in number three here, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows of drip in this and there are uh, i believe 25 on each one let me count them there are actually 30 in each row so 30 times seven let's just say there's going to be about 200 hanging baskets up in the air in greenhouse number three as long as everything goes to plan the dolans just told me that they started four thousand geraniums and they sold them all and they did about 750 hanging baskets and that was way back they haven't owned this place in about 15 years so that's a lot i wish i really want to spend more time with them and pick their brain and i can't wait to do that i know i'll have the opportunity it was just not today but it was definitely exciting to have them pop in um so ah! it's a little bit Shifty here. The Dolans just told me that they actually had another structure here. It was a structure that took up a lot of this space with a whole bunch of benches. And then it had a, just a plastic poly covering that they rolled up and down at night and people were able to come in here and get product out. Uh, that's a whole lot of square footage that they had here. And then inside number four here, uh, we are gonna get the drip for this. I think honestly, as soon as this house has new plastic on it and a new door and all of this is cleaned out, which my mom keeps saying it's on her to-do list. My mom fell sick, she's been sick. So she's feeling much better now. And this is on her list of things to come and help me with. So we're gonna be cleaning this house out hopefully over the next two weeks. So maybe by the time you guys see this space again, it'll look totally different. So I'm going ahead and I, I'm gonna order the drip irrigation for this room. Let's just say it'll hold probably 250, just like the first house, because I don't have benches in here yet. And I don't think I'm gonna buy benches for in here right now. So we'll be able, we'll be able to have two layers just like we will in greenhouse number one okay that's it for now guys i just wanted to share with you guys little tiny steps of progress anytime i i try to figure this out or brainstorm um the hive mind is better than than just mine so anyway guys thanks for sticking around we'll see you soon i just locked myself out i don't have the keys to my car just locked myself out <laughs> what am i gonna do